Here's some footage of the extra set of wheels I fabricated for the Harbor Freight backhoe trencher. Uh, the trencher only comes with a single set of wheels that uh, when you're digging, they sit in the back and you've got the outriggers in the front. And if you want to switch from dig mode to tow mode, you have to uh, remove the outriggers, move the wheels to the front. It's a big hassle. So like a lot of users of this backhoe, I decided to add a extra set of wheels. And in this video, I'll show you how I put them together. So starting off, let's talk about mounting. Now there's the square tube that the factory wheels go into, but the problem with this tube is in order to slide the wheels in there, you have to remove the outriggers. So what I did was I added some additional tubing right below this and I inset the tubing so there's enough space to angle the wheels in. The tubing that I added was made out of some hitch receivers. I welded one on either side and then I had a third one I cut up and added for some additional support. Beyond that, the only other modification to the backhoe itself was to uh, extend the hole that's in the top tube so that you could run the pin all the way through securing the wheels in place. Moving on, let's talk about the wheel assembly. Here are the parts I used. Obviously you're gonna need a set of wheels and tires and you're also gonna need a hub assembly kit. Uh, check the video description. I have the full details on the specific products I used including links to Amazon. And then finally, I got a five foot length of two inch square tubing from a local metal supplier. So here's how everything fits together. I'll have a diagram in a moment with some measurements but here's the general idea. You're going to take the square tubing, cut it up, weld it into some 90 degree angles, uh, drill a hole in the top for the pin to pass through. Uh, mine has two holes just because I was playing around with placement, but you only need a single hole. And then at the bottom of the square tube, I cut out a slot and put the uh, hub spindle in there and welded that in place. So pretty straightforward design, but here's a diagram with some measurements. Uh, keep in mind these measurements are all approximate. Uh, make sure that everything's lining up on your machine, uh, especially like the pinhole. I noticed on mine it was in a slightly different position on each side of the machine, so you want to uh, customize that as you go along. But in general, in terms of the height of the wheels, the measurements I've shown here seems to work pretty well in terms of ground clearance. To wrap things up, here's some footage of the backhoe being towed with the extra set of wheels. Uh, here I have it attached to a hitch on a ballast box on a tractor, but in a moment I have some footage of it being towed around with an ATV just to show that this works with different size machines. And I'll conclude this video by saying that these wheels have been really useful, but I've actually recently put together a different way of towing around the backhoe that I like even better. It involves a pintle hitch uh, attached to the front of the boom. Um, I'll have a separate video on that. If you want to check that out, you can find a link in the video description.